Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 1st, 2022. So we have finally finished up that very turbulent month of May. Can we ease some of that turbulence? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video and find out. Good morning once again and thank you so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today and what June is starting to shape up as. First off, we had this, obviously we've had this really, really strong rally here and we're pressing resistance levels in the chart. Um, it's interesting when I go through some of the news feed, there is a tremendous amount of hype being pumped here into the market um with um, all kinds of predictions of uh, zooming back to the top a great summer ahead of us all kinds of comments but when i look at these charts well um i'm not seeing that and let's see if you um, happen to agree first off if we take a look right in through here we have some price resistance in the chart right here and this is a very strong level of price resistance um, in the diamonds chart. And we do have to remember, although we have broken this short term downtrend, we still haven't claw clawed our way back up through these areas. And overall, we are still in a downtrend in the Dow. Now, if we take a look and go just a little bit further into our technicals here, you can see we're getting close to that 50 day moving average. We're above that 34 EMA. So there certainly is that possibility that there is more upside if we can find that inspiration. But I gotta tell you, um, I would just be extremely surprised to see us blow right through that as if it were not there. Because the technicals or the, um, the issues in the market have not changed. And we'll talk about that here in just a second. So watch that carefully. So if we can catch those bulls getting um, finding some inspiration, well, let's watch to see if we can push up a little bit higher toward that 50-day moving average. But if those bears find some inspiration, remember, we have that possibility that we could reverse and like I said, if we come back down into here, there's nothing wrong with this chart. If we find a little bit of higher low to rest, and, and I would say even if we drop back into here, there's nothing wrong with this chart. It might be a bit on the painful side, but if we hold a higher low, then we put in good quality patterns in the chart, and that's what we need to see here in the market. Um, can't say that that's going to occur, but that's what we'd like to see. If we take a look at our SPY, very similar situation. However, SPY is a little bit on the weaker side in here. Notice that we've rallied into this price resistance. So far, we've not been able to breach that. And we have a much stronger level of price resistance above here. Um, clearly, we've broken this little downtrend. But overall, we have a lot of work here to do before we break the major downtrend here in the market. Um, taking a look at the technicals here on the SPY, you can see we're trying to hold that 34 EMA, trying to hold up in there. And that's certainly a nice change here for the market. And that does give us that hope that we could rally up here toward the 50 and there'd be no reason to believe that that couldn't be possible. But also we're very extended in the short term and that possibility that we could rest or pull back maybe even pulling back down here to test that 500 day moving average as support could be an interesting um, an interesting higher low that would support more upside in the market let's take a look at our NASDAQ. Now our NASDAQ is the weakest of the bunch here. Um, struggling still an awful lot in this chart. If you notice right across here, we do have quite a little bit of price resistance right here in that chart. And if we move higher, just a little bit higher, it doesn't improve a whole lot. But we are back above that 3000 level in the NASDAQ, which is a nice thing to see. And we are breaking that little downtrend. So 
I'm going to give this up to the bulls for sure, but we still have to be respectful of price resistance above. And although there's been an awful lot of hype and an awful lot of um, speculation that we're just going to zoom right back to the top, I don't know, with the, with the Fed showing the aggression that they're showing, um, if you caught Waller's comments um, yesterday, um, he says he's not taking 50 basis points off the table until they push inflation back down to somewhere around that 2% um, um, expectation of the Fed on inflation and says he's willing to go above the neutral point, above 2%. Uh, 250 in um, interest rates to um, slow things down. So we're going to have to continue to watch um, this because not only are we um, adding in more interest rate increases this month, we're also doing for the first time in a very long time quantitative tightening, which is essentially another interest rate increase. Um, because we're tightening and actually restricting money supply. So watch that carefully. And the, and the measures that we use to calculate um, inflation continue to rise. As a matter of fact, this morning, um, we had mortgage applications um, continue to fall. Mortgage applications came in weak again this morning. Um, lowest level since 2018, um, down 2.3%, refinance down 5.4%. And the reason that is occurring is, believe it or not, even though interest rates are high, housing prices are still going up. The major factors that calculate um, inflation are housing, food and energy. Well, we just had a new record high in um, national gas prices yesterday with crude, uh, Brent crude going over 123 a barrel and continuing to show bullishness this morning. International gas prices hit $4.67 um, last night. So we're starting to see um, the metrics that we calculate inflation on actually going up so it'll be it'll be really interesting to see how aggressive the fed might become um, um i think they're probably going to continue to stand on the gas to um, bring the demand um, destruction to the market so let's watch um, this closely as we approach these resistance levels and let's respect that now keeping in mind that our technicals here in the chart on the QQQ are pretty dismal in the fact that the 50-day moving average is declining below that 500-day moving average we're being held down right now at this point by that 34 EMA let's keep an eye on that this is certainly a bearish condition for the Nasdaq and then if we take a look at our Russell, um, IWM, nice rally back up. Now, I've got to give this to the bulls because the bulls held a higher low in the Russell. But unfortunately, guys, if we pull this chart back and take a quick look, as you can see here, um, we're approaching some um, resistance in the chart here. And if we can get through that, I want you to notice there's a year's worth of resistance above that here in the nasdaq so we've got a lot of work here and technically in our charts um, this is not a bullish situation we are approaching that 50-day moving average which is nice and that that would be a normal bounce back rally but notice we're still well under our 500-day moving average and if we continue to linger down here a whole lot longer notice that that 200-day moving average could actually come down and cross down through the 500 so not a bullish situation here in the chart if we take a look at our vix Here's another problem that I see in the market. First off, we're, we're telling everybody that everything's great, everything's good, um, no problems here. But when we look at across, um, right across here, even though we've had this major rally in the market, our VIX hasn't collapsed back below that 25 handle area in the chart, which is very interesting. Usually you would see with this kind of a rally, a pretty substantial pullback in the VIX, but so far it's not there 
And if we take a look right here, we have a little bit of an uptrend to be watching. And as we approach the support, it's going to be an interesting thing to see which one of these trend lines is going to break the upside trend or the downside trend. It'll be interesting to see. And you can certainly see that possibility that we could do that with a little pullback coming in the market. Now, if we take a look at our T21, 22, T21, 22 does suggest that we are overbought in the short term. We went up yesterday and we kept pressing and pressing, pressing to the upside yesterday, but we just couldn't seem to get through some resistance up there. And as you can see, um, we pulled back a little bit um, there toward the end of the day but we're still up here in the bullish uh, excuse me bearish reversal zone now this doesn't necessarily mean we completely collapse as a matter of fact one of the things that would be very bullish for the market if we would just rest and consolidate um, spill off some of the volatility that's certainly a possibility but we can't rule out the possibility of being up here and how many times have i shown you this that when we reach these areas we typically pull back so while everyone is out there talking about oh it's time to buy hurry up and rush in and buy 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 we might be right at the point we might be right at the precipice where um, we see some selling coming in to the market so watch that carefully now again doesn't necessarily mean we have to collapse all the way back down into here but the market is a little bit overbought in the short term and might need some rest so watch that carefully now if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 also hooked over just a little bit yesterday you can see we rallied up trying to get going um, in the chart we rallied up we've broken some resistance in the t2108 39%, just about 40% of the stocks above their 40 day, which is a very nice bullish change. But we are a long ways from breaking this downtrend. And that possibility, since we've hooked over here, that we could recede just a little bit or pull back just a little bit certainly is possible. And then if we take a look at our T2107, T2107 also shows us that little bit of a problem here that we're pressing into price resistance here in the chart we um, haven't broken through the longer term downtrend here by a long shot and we still have this resistance here in the chart so it doesn't necessarily say you know look out below where we're just going to collapse um, a whole bunch more in the market but it does say there is reason to be a little bit cautious here and to maybe be thinking about taking some profits if you're long rather than um, chasing um, this market into price resistance levels in the chart. Let's take a look at our T2101. Now, interesting enough, T2101 shot back up yesterday. Um, so we are kind of holding on to some trend and support levels in the chart. And um, we'll want to watch that closely. But unfortunately, we continue to suffer from a situation that is well uh, very interesting and that is when we look at volumes we're really not getting all that strong notice yesterday we did pump up here a little bit in that volume it was just terrible at the end of last week um, but um, even with um, all that energy it didn't push us through even this moving average here the 25 day moving average of volume still relatively weak and if we take a look at spy Pick, perked up a little bit um, QQQ was very weak yesterday so we're just not picking up that major momentum that I'd like to be seeing here in the market to push us on through so that also gives me just a little bit of pause a little bit of concern that we could be getting closer to a pullback than we may be just racing to the upside but with those um, moving averages that 50-day moving average up, up here in the diamonds um, and with the energy that we've been seeing here recently, I also wouldn't rule out the possibility we push a little bit higher before we see um, those sellers potentially come in. Now, having said that, if we take a look at our economic calendar here for today, our economic calendar does give us some things that we want to be paying attention to. Um, there's that uh, mortgage application um, information this morning, certainly bearish here for the market um, as we continue to slow that down. But interestingly, in the same report, 
it said housing prices are continuing to go higher. So later this morning here at 945, we've got PMI manufacturing. PMI manufacturing is expected to slip back, but stay strong um, from um, last month's high. Um, ISM manufacturing is expected to come in weaker than last month. Construction spending, that'll be interesting today because um, we're starting to see a little bit of clues that builders are slowing down. Um, just ever so slightly on their construction, even though we, we still have a supply. Now, housing supply is starting to build, but it is still below normal. So there may still be some construction spending in there going on. We'll have to watch that close. Job openings report is looking to decline about one in about 150,000 jobs. And we've been starting to see um, Companies saying we're going to slow down and be more careful on our hiring and all of those kind of things. So watch that. It wouldn't be a surprise to see that pull back. Now I mentioned um, I mentioned Waller um, um, out there, and he is not the most bear, um, hawkish Fed member. As a matter of fact, um, it is James Bullard is the mar most hawkish Fed member. He will be speaking today at one. We'll want to pay attention to that. And then we get that beige book in the afternoon. Not likely the market will react much there. Um, keep in mind as you're planning for it, we've got an OPEC meeting here that could be interesting for those oil prices um, that are continuing to move up this morning. Um, oil and natural gas are higher here this morning. So you'll want to keep an eye on that. And then we've got those ADP, jobless claims, productivity and cost, factory orders. We've got a busy day tomorrow. So just making sure that you're paying attention um, to those things and not over trading in a already extended condition here in the market. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. Oh, you know what, by the way, um, there is not gonna be a blog this morning here, guys, because, um, well, it's my fault, so there won't be a blog here this morning. This video will be a little bit longer than normal, because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover all of the notables here this morning. So first off, notables for today, um, uh, GME. Um, GameStop will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. And I'm just going to run through these quick. Um, um, AMSC is a notable for this morning. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Been running in a major downtrend. CPRI reporting this morning. Looks like we're trying to gap up here. Um, um, apparel manufacturing, um, trying to push up here, break this downtrend. So starting to show a little bit of bullishness there. Might want to watch that. Uh, Chewy, I believe Chewy reports after the bell today, but we'll want to watch that. This thing has been beaten down and beaten down and beaten down. Um, if you notice right in here, we're um, back below our IPO price here in Chewy. So keep an eye on that. We have CONN will be reporting today. Um, obviously still in a downtrend, needs a little help here to get moving. Um, DCI trying to break that downtrend here. Watch that closely as Donaldson tries to move on up and that could be an important report for it. We've got Hewlett Packard Enterprises, HPE, trying to move up here, um, obviously in a very choppy topping type formation. We dropped hard and now we're back up here in the resistance in the chart. So this could be an important number um, later on this afternoon. Watch that one. We've got NetApp reporting today. Um, once again, stock trying to break that downtrend. This will be an important one. Will it hold in here or will it break on back down? We've got PSTG on the list. Keep an eye on that as we push this downtrend to see if we can get back up through those levels. PBH is on the list. Also trying to deal with that downtrend, SMTC. And last but not least, oh, and by the way, there's that, another one of those downtrends that we're trying to deal with. NVEEV will be reporting today. And 
it's kind of a theme here. A lot of downtrends pushing those downtrends resistance levels. We'll have to see if we can push on through those to move to the upside. So watch those close. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified when I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you can please continue to click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment. I get a lot of watches um, of the video, but I don't get as, uh, nearly um, as many people watching the video, um, even making a comment or giving a thumbs up. So um, if you guys could help with that, that helps the channel to continue to grow. And I do um, truly, truly appreciate it. Now let's take a look here at some stocks that could be setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence. You're going to have to be watching very, very closely um, on these charts. Now, I've been seeing a lot of pump um, in these charts, Let's um, or a pump by um, some of the talking heads out there. First off, um, there's some pump going on here in uh, Facebook. We've got um, several talking heads out there saying uh, Facebook is way oversold. It needs to be going up. Um, they believe in meta uh, or believe in the metaverse and all that. Well, here's here's the thing, guys. What we want to do, um, how many times have we rallied into this price resistance downtrend and then failed? So what we want to do on a chart like this, and it may be true, it's time for these to move back up. Let's let them prove. Let's break some downtrends, hold a higher low, and start to develop an upside trend because we can get so many false pops here pop up and pull back pop up and pull back and so many people have been getting hurt in that uh, trade so watch that closely facebook needs to break through there also heard um, um apple should be moving up and um, apple should be getting better okay um i'll i'll get with that as well as long as apple can break a downtrend and actually hold a higher low instead of just press into resistance and continue to show that possibility of failure right at that point. So don't chase in here. Make it produce either a higher low that starts an uptrend or make sure it pops out and holds that higher low up here. And then we have an opportunity to take that chart long without the substantial risk of a full on pullback. And the same would be true with a lot of stocks. We're seeing a lot of these stocks pressing into resistance levels. We saw CRM yesterday um, have a nice earnings report and pop up, but this does not make um, except for a speculation trade does not make for a bullish pattern just yet. Let's break that downtrend. Beautiful. Now the next step is prove that you can actually hold because we've popped in here before completely reversed. And so now we need to see proof that we can hold and establish an uptrend in those charts. So be really careful chasing or rushing into those trades. A few other charts that you might want to be keeping an eye on. I've been watching stocks like SQ trying to come up out of this bottom. Once again, they're trying to improve, but we want to be watching for that higher low. And you can see we've popped up here. We're getting a little bit of rest in here. If we can rest just a little bit, maybe follow along, slide out here toward the trend, we may have some uh, um, upside opportunity in SQ. Um, saw PayPal kind of the same way. It needs a little bit more, maybe a little bit more rest in here. Um, to come back and contact this little upside trend. Um, but I think these stocks are starting to show signs of some upside opportunity. Take a look at FedEx. Um, FedEx, as you can see, really strong rally to the upside. And here again, we're trying to break these downtrends here. So, for, so this time, let's see if we can hold a higher low. Look how many times we have popped up in here and folks that raced into those trades were um, heavily punished by doing that. Let's get the higher low in here. Let's start an uptrend. 
and then we have opportunities to trade without all of the risk. So there's a few stocks for you to consider today. Not a whole lot here in the market that I can really be t super excited about until we can start breaking some of these downtrends and breaking some of these uh, technical levels in the chart. But watch carefully, there may be some bullish opportunities uh, forming up and we certainly have that possibility that we could reverse and move back down at any point in time because we are a little bit overbought in the short term. So let's watch that close. I want to wish everyone a wonderful day. Thanks so much for being here. I apologize, no blog today, but hopefully um, you got some good information out of this video. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate all your kind support to the channel. Um, and I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. Take care, everyone.